Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we are going to be working with a order of operation problem. When we do order of operations, there are four steps. The first step is you work with inside parentheses or the, the brackets. These are parentheses right here. Our second step is if you have exponents, do the exponents. Our third step is working with multiplication and division from left to right. And then our fourth step step is we're working with addition and subtraction from left to right. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. If you are a math ninja and you've had experience with this, you know that you can kind of maybe move around in there and it won't affect the problem. For example, I can go ahead and do this exponent right here and it's not going to affect my um, problem over here within the parentheses. So 12 to the second power, remember 12 to the second power would mean 12 times 12 would be equal, yeah, 144. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 144 right here. I'm gonna keep my division symbol right there and then go ahead and put my bracket right there. And then 12 times four, what is 12 times four? Yeah, you got it, 48. So I'm gonna go ahead and write 48 right there and then divided by eight and then my bracket here. All right, let's go ahead and continue on with our problem. Let's go ahead and do what's inside the brackets or the parentheses right here. So I have 48 divided by eight. Do you know what 48 divided by eight is? Yeah, oh my goodness, you guys are math ninjas. It is six. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this again. 144 divided by six. All right, we're almost done right here. Now we just gotta figure out what 144 divided by six is. So let's go ahead and do a little long division right here. I'm gonna write 144 here and then six. And then how many times does six go into 14? Six times two is 12, six times three, 18, too high. We're gonna keep it at two. So I'm gonna put two right there. Two times six is 12 and then go ahead and subtract. So four minus two is two, and then you bring that next number down. Yeah, bring it all the way down here. Yeah, boom, 24. And then how many times does six go into 24? Six times two, 12, six times three, 18, six times four, 24, bingo, you got it, 24. That's our answer. So 144 divided by six equals 24 right here. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the likey button, and I'd sure appreciate it if you can go over to my new channel called Dino Math. We're having a lot of fun over there. Everything related to dinosaurs, we got Beyblades, mathematics, it's a cool channel. I'd sure appreciate if you can go over to that new channel there and hit the subscribe button. It's helping me out a bunch. And like always, I hope you guys are gonna have a fun day out there. Adios, goodbye.